Hey there, React Native Developers. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to build dynamic carousel based on Material 3 design system. We are going to build this using React Native Reanimated and Flare List. So I'm really excited about this and without doing any further delay, let's get started with the code. As usual, we are going to start with this with brand new fresh project and the first thing which I have did in this project is I have installed React Native Reanimated library and I have also configured it in the Babel dot config dot js file and after that we are good with the react native reanimated and we can start implementing our project with the flat list and the images so i have already created a data file which have some images and some ids this is an array and i'm going to use this for the flat list so let's start with let's make it to app dot js and clear everything up so now we have a clean app.js where we only have a text which is not visible right now so what we can do to make it visible we have to change it to safe area view safe area view gives some padding from the top and bottom when we have some status bar so if we do that then we can see app is visible now and let's make the flat list ready now so i'm going to import the flat list data will be sample data and first we are going to render some text so we can see that our flat list is working fine so it will be text item dot id and if we do that we can see we have our ids are there after that we need to make it horizontal let's make it that and now let's add some keys key extractor item dot id dot to string so this is good now so now let's work with the image component so image component let's make the new file list item dot js rnfe so rnfe basically is predefined snippet which creates this predefined component for me and I'm going to use this now. So if I'm going to use this, let's import list item. Now we can see we have our list with the list item text. But we need an image here, so we will add the image. So let's add image. You first need to import the image. And we also need a URI which we which will be the URL of the image. So we are going to use image source URI. As right now we are not passing any URI in this component, we have to do that. URI is equal to item dot URI. But yeah, right now it, the image is not visible because we have not defined the styles. Let's define that styles styles it dot create yes. let's say i want the width of 250 and height will be 300 and let's add the styles style styles dot image so now we can see our images images are visible and we can scroll to them so we have a horizontal scroll indicator here we have to disable that let's do that so horizontal scroll indicator to false and now we are good with this so the main react native part is done now we have to add react native reanimated into this to make the animations and to pass on the life to this image so let's do that first we need a scroll x value which will be a value when we are scrolling our flat list we know exactly how much we have scrolled to the list we can do that from on scroll event on scroll is equal to on scroll 
and scroll even throttle will be 16. So this on scroll function gives an event which have the offset of the x value when we are scrolling it. So now we have a scroll x value. Let's pass it to the list item. Scroll x, we scroll x, and let's also pass the index. So now we have passed three items, three things in this list item component. First is a URL of the image, second is the scroll x value of this flat list, and third is the index of that image. And based on that, we have to animate this images let's do that so before doing the animation part let me show you how it works it works so in this image you can see we have three images one with the width of 50 percent second is the 50 percent of large image and the third is the 50 percent of medium image so we have to define that in our code and then we can start working on this so let's start this first import width from the dimensions now let's make large image width large image width it will be 50 percent 0.5 now we have medium image width it will be large image width into 0 0.5 and then let's make small yeah so we have these widths for the images ready now let's animate based on the index and scroll x value so first i'm going to make it an animated image because right now it's a react native image we have to make it animated so import the animated and do it like this so now this is an animated image nothing is changed right now but we are going to do something which will help you to transition the list so const animated style use animated style if you are using any animated component then we have to use this animated style and then we can pass the style into that animated thing so styles will be style.image also animated style right now it's not gonna do anything it will be the same so let's add some margin here margin right it will be 8 now looks good now let's add some border radius it will be 20 pixels now our list is looking fine but we have to make it carousel then how we can do that let's animate this so we have scroll x value and index let's create an interpolate input range for the index input range So we have to make sure like the first image will be the full image, the second image will be the medium and third will be the small. So index into index minus 2, this is the second image, will be small. What is small right? Okay. And then index minus 1 into small image height and then third will be index into small image height and then we have index plus 1 into small image width so right now these are the input ranges and we are not defining the width of the image based on this this is just the input range and we are using small image width here because when we have moved to 25% of the total image width then we want to animate the 
images based on that so this is the input range and now let's make the output range so output range will be first we are going to use the small image width because this is the second item then the first item before the current active item will be medium current item will be large and the previous item will be small and if we do this let's interpolate with the width interpolate scroll x dot value input range output range and now let's see this okay it is giving some error but we have to add a clamp here so that our animation works properly add clamp and now we have our animation ready but still we are not done with this we have to fix a lot of things in this so first let's add some padding to the main flat list we can do that by adding margin to the main flat list margin that will be 16 if we do that now we can see only three items are visible the first is the full width second is the half then third is the quarter of the width and as we scroll we can see this good animation is going through and it is good but as you can see we have the last image which is not going full so how we can do that we have to define two different output range for the last item and second last item because even if we see in this video let me play this for you when it is on the last item then last item is the full and the last second item is the medium width so let's define this for that we need to power the pass the length of the list so we exactly know which is the last item and which is the second last item so that will be data length it will be sample data dot length and now we have the data length const is last item it will be data length is equal to index plus one is second last item data length so now we have two constant variables which defines that this is the last item and this is the second last item so we have to define the output range for that so const second last item output range it will be small medium again small and small and for the last item last item input range it will be not the input range it is output range first it is small then it will be large and again it will be medium and then we are going to use the small and output range will be is last item then last item output range is second last item then second last output range and if nothing then we have to use the same so now let's do this so this list is working fine now let's go to the last items okay this is not working fine so for that we have to make changes to the last item and second last item so it will be large and it should be small
okay there is some issue we need this to be medium image width not the small let's do this and now you can see it is working fine but we still have second last item is not showing in the medium width to do that let's make this to be medium image width and now okay it is small and it should be medium width at least i think Let's load this. Oh, it is already like medium of this width, and we have this of the small width. Yeah, we are good with this. Let's make this small. So now it is working fine we only have some like issues with this transition so how we can fix it make this scroll even total to 18 then it will not happen like this and we also have to disable the bounces bounces false yes so now it is working fine and we can see our animation is going through this good transitions so that's all for this video i hope you learned something from this video and if you learned something then please do like the video and also subscribe to my channel thank you